This is a demonstration of the current state of boost skipping. As you can see, we're going to boost skip about 12 times in this support ship here, and then we're going to run out of energy. This is what it looks like for third person. Obviously, this is very hard to hit, but you run out of energy very quickly. Overall, I think the game is in a really fantastic place. I, I can't think of like any... Like it's only uphill from here, guys. I can't, I can't express how awesome this is. And but who, who, who's turning up the noise? Like what is? Oh God! Why do I hear boss music? Enough of this. Before we get any further, I want to really quickly credit A. Ham from Cavern Angel Squadron for sharing this technique with me. So, what is actually going on here? So, I'm flying the TIE Reaper, and as you can see, I'm hitting Caps Lock a lot. Caps Lock is my drift button, Spacebar is my boost button. What I'm doing is I'm boosting, immediately drifting, and then spamming Caps Lock in order to continue sort of retro drifting which is a technique where you rapidly boost and drift in order to create an arc of a flight pattern without having to boost in between every drift. We call this technique multi-drifting. Now in a Y-Wing, my boost speed decays very, very quickly, and so does my boost energy. So I have to put my pirate back to engines very quickly, making my speed decay even faster. So what I do is I do one single change of angular momentum by hitting my drift key during this technique just to get a little bit closer to the cruiser. Whenever I get a little bit too far away, I can just do a little bit. I can do a quick multi-drift in order to get close to it and to drop those bombs right on top of it. Here, I fly in to the station just to show you that it can really improve your maneuverability in tight situations. Broadly speaking, the balance implications for this, oh boy. Essentially, if you are in a high mobility ship, a ship with a lot of inertia, say like a TIE Bomber, Reaper, Defender, TIE Fighter, notice a lot of Empire ships here, uh, you, you can really, really move. And this is an Empire-specific problem, more so than a Rebel-specific problem. Not that A-Wings can't do it too, because Empire ships have a lot more inertia when they dead drift compared to Rebel ships, and can hold that energy better because they can shunt their energy to weapons, avoiding any decay. And so, using this technique, Empire ships are able to essentially traverse the entire map on very little boost energy, while also staying very, very safe. I hope this gets patched. I don't think it will because Motive doesn't have the manpower to do a full client patch. For those of you who don't know, Motive can no longer do client side patches. All of the recent balance patches have been server side only, but I hope so. Thank you for watching. I stream at twitch.tv slash Venkar, and I do a lot of guides, so check those out, you know, if, if they mean anything anymore. Have a good one, and play nice.